Hello and welcome back to Engineering Dots, your go-to channel for deep, clear, and practical engineering knowledge. In today's video, we're taking a deep dive into one of the most efficient hydro turbines ever designed, the Kaplan Turbine. We'll explore take out what makes it different from other turbines, how it works, its construction and real-world use, and why it's still one of the best choices for low-head hydroelectric power. Whether you're a student, engineer, someone curious about clean energy, this video will give you everything you need to know. Let's get started. The Kaplan turbine is a type of axial flow reaction turbine. It was invented in 1913 by Victor Kaplan, an Austrian engineer. At the time, most hydro turbines, like the Francis turbine, worked well under medium to high head conditions. But low head rivers and canals lacked an efficient turbine design. Kaplan designed a turbine that combined axial water flow like a propeller, adjustable runner blades for efficiency, high performance even under low pressure heads, as low as two meters. Over time, the Kaplan turbine became a standard for hydroelectric plants located in low elevation regions with high water flow. Before we go further, let's quickly define two key terms. Axial flow, water flows parallel to the shaft along the axis similar to how air flows through a jet engine or propeller. Eastern Reaction Turbine Unlike impulse turbines like Pelton, reaction turbines use both pressure energy and kinetic energy of water to generate rotation. The Kaplan turbine is unique because it handles axial flow, operates under reaction principles, has adjustable runner blades, which adapt to varying flow rates. This means it performs well across a wide range of conditions, which is not true for many other turbines. Let's now look at the major parts of a Kaplan turbine, each playing a specific role in the energy conversion process. One scroll casing, or spiral casing, a spiral-shaped enclosure that wraps around the runner, designed to deliver water uniformly to the guide vanes. It maintains consistent pressure and reduces turbulence. Liu stay vanes and guide vanes, Tay vanes support the structure and help direct water. Guide vanes are adjustable and regulate the angle and speed of incoming water before it reaches the runner. Together, these vanes help in to controlling flow rate, maintaining ideal flow angles, improving efficiency. Three, runner with adjustable blades. The heart of the Kaplan turbine. The runner resembles a ship propeller and consists of adjustable blades. Four, shaft connects the runner to the generator, can be vertical or horizontal, depending on plant design. Five, draft two, a conical pipe attached to the exit of the runner. Each slows down the water, converts kinetic energy into pressure energy, reduces energy losses. Six, governor system, an automated hydraulic or electronic control system that adjusts, you'd see, guide vane opening, runner blade angles, this system keeps the turbine operating at optimal efficiency. The Kaplan turbine operates on the reaction principle, meaning wetter pressure drops as it flows through the turbine. Energy is extracted from both the velocity and pressure of water. Let's walk through the working step by step. Water enters through the scroll casing, maintaining high flow velocity. It passes through stay vanes and guide vanes, which direct it to the runner at the correct angle. As the water hits the runner blades, it transfers its energy causing the runner to spin. Blade angle adjusts dynamically depending on flow conditions. This is what gives Kaplan turbines their efficiency edge. The rotating shaft drives a generator, converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. Finally, the water exits through the draft tube into the tail race. The entire process is continuous and highly efficient, with some Kaplan turbines achieving efficiency levels above night. Kaplan turbines are widely used where ticky, water flow is high, Head is low, typically between 2 and 70 meters. Common applications include UP, run of the river hydro plants, tidal energy plants, irrigation canals, small and medium scale dams, real life examples Botra Dam, India Tay, Three Gorges Dam, China, Aswan High Dam, Egypt, hundreds of smaller European hydro stations. Their adaptability and reliability make Kaplan turbines a favorite for both developed and developing nations. Focusing on clean energy, let's summarize some of the key advantages of Kaplan turbines. High efficiency even under variable flow, adjustable blades, improve energy output, suitable for low head, high flow sites, 
compact and simple mechanical structure, can operate efficiently even under partial load, easy integration into small-scale hydro system. Disadvantages, of course, no technology is perfect. Some drawbacks include higher initial costs due to complex blade mechanism, more frequent maintenance compared to fixed blade turbines, not suitable for very high head conditions, requires skilled monitoring and control systems. As the world moves towards sustainable and renewable energy, Kaplan turbines are expected to remain a key part of the solution, especially in regions with Hupart. High river flow, large rural demand, low height differences, modern advancements like AI-based performance monitoring, smart sensors, remote automation systems are already being integrated to make Kaplan turbines smarter and even more efficient. They're also playing a role in hybrid systems, combining hydro, solar, or wind energy. So that's a complete breakdown of the Kaplan turbine from its invention to its inner workings, modern day applications, and future potential. To quickly recap, Kukapia, it's an axial flow reaction turbine, best suited for low head, high flow sites, features adjustable runner blades, used in dams, canals, and tidal stations. Still one of the most efficient and relevant turbine designs in the world. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Engineering Dots for more practical and real world engineering content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep learning, keep building.